Yes, yes, yeah. It's the Cliff Notes Podcast. Available everywhere you get your podcasts. It's a special edition of Cliff Notes Live. If you've tapped into any of the other Cliff Notes Live, then oftentimes, or actually all of them, have been live in uh, in person. So I've had I've had an opportunity to do them at a couple different spots here in the Portland area. And this one is this one's special. This one's a little different. This one's gonna be dope though, because we're doing it live um, from live from a distance, live from a ca- across the, across the miles with uh, two folks who are familiar to to my radio audience, people who are familiar to the podcast audience, um, people who are familiar to the stage audience, um, and two solid, solid cats, man. Before we get into it, man, big ups to a- Acapella Apparel for their support of the Cliff Notes podcast. If you haven't yet, be sure to check them out, Acapella Apparel, A-K-E-P-E-L-E dot com. Once again, for their continued support of the Cliff Notes podcast. Okay, but enough of that. Y'all didn't tune in to hear me. Without any further ado, let me bring these cats up, man. We got Monty Draper. We got Kevin Allen live on the Cliff hey, Notes podcast. What up, what up? What's happening, bro? bro? Yo, man, I'm I'm psyched. I'm psyched to talk to y'all. It's been a... It, well, Kev, it's been a minute since I talked to you, Monty. I just see you yeah. like a few weeks just, ago. <laughs> yeah, just a few weeks ago, man. Appreciate you having us too, bro. Straight up. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Um... Let's just jump right in, bro. The new album is nice. What are we doing? <laughs> it's nice, bro. Thank you, um, bro. Shout out to shout out to Brookfield Deuce. He he gave me the he gave me the sneak peek before it dropped. Mm-hmm. And I'm listening to it and I'm texting him like song by song by song. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm kind of tripping, yo. I'm like, yo, this is this is kind of dope. <laughs> let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah, like for real, bro. Let's like let's get into it. I mean, I understand, I understand that, you know, Grand National, the whole Grand National family and that you guys, I mean, that's the one thing I think that's, that's constant and consistent is you guys don't stop working, but this particular project, um, it was, this something that you guys have been talking about, thinking about doing for a minute or like, where did this, where this, where this come from? <laughs> uh, this, <laughs> this is like, um, having a, having a trunk full of music right uh-huh and dealing with small politics and it just forced us to just do something different so we had a catalog of music and it just started you know getting older and older and sitting and we're kind of waiting for people and then we looked at each other like you know we got you know what we got enough music we can make music in our sleep let's just do something okay okay so i, I think it took about maybe two weeks to, to decide we were actually going to just drop it. Like it was a very, very short window of time. That's what's up. So, because I mean, there's, there's so many things, there's so many things I want to touch on with the project. I, I really just want to start off with, with the production, like just mm-hmm. listening to the production. I'm, I'm blown away, man. As I have been with other projects that you guys have done, but like, talk to me about the, the production on this project. Like who, who produced, I'm sure you have more than one producer, but who produced it? I, man, without without sounding like wild ego driven, I think the 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 soul of what you're speaking to starts with us specifically, like okay. Kevin and I, um, from season one all the way through. And so, salute to Puff, he's doing his rounds promoting uh, off the grid his new album, and he ma- he made it a point to just highlight what he brings to the table in terms of just loving just loving music like before we get to programming drums who played what instrument whatever like how much do you love this for real and i can honestly say kev you know some match made in heaven shit. like i finally found somebody that loves it more than me but doesn't mind you can listen to the same snare for four hours because it has to be right you know what i'm saying yeah. um and, and it's really it's really really hard to find that these days especially with splice and ai you can you can fast track anything so to sit there and kind of obsess about something have 20 different versions of a song like i think it's really important to say to say that it started with us without feeling a way about about owning that and claiming that but in the same breath we 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 honestly wouldn't have been able to make it without 
finding our counterparts as far as a collective in the in the Wodies. Um shout out to shout out to Carter, shout out to Bennett, shout out to Dave, shout out to Fur, their whole crew. Um they're a collective of, of just really special individuals that have come together to figure out how to make a collective cohesive sound, a vibe. They lab is hella tight, like it's just hella welcoming, you know, and that our brothers pulled up for us and then and, and my brother Edeek, uh, who did the intro track, um, salute to Mike from Umber who put a Deke and I together. Um, that song started as something different, and then Kev just came in that day and was like, "Yo, nah, this is this is what this is." And he blacked out on that verse, like you could hear it. It's such a, it's such a special record. Um, he tried to keep me off that record. <laughs> I, I came in; it wasn't even I wasn't even scheduled. I just popped in, like, "Nah, hold on, bro. Oh. Hold on, bro. I'm on that." You know, Word. To, you know what I mean? To not to not keep it going, so we just added like four or five songs to a group of songs we already had. And it was like, nah, this a tape. It's special already. And it, it's, it's, hella, it's hella important to highlight the Wodies too, because the the experimentation, like, yeah, we're, I think a lot of people, just the collective alone, their first, their first comparison they make is like the West Coast Griselda or, you know, and it's, and it's not a lazy comparison at all. It's actually, it's actually dope, especially when you consider what Wes is doing as a, as a curator but we from the bay bro like yeah. we're it's more three times and in in 40 and short it's more mob music than it is anything um but that it's ant banks it's mike mosley so you need tone capone bosco conte like it you need the live instruments you need that bass line just just mobby you know what i'm saying yeah. you, need the, you need those funk elements there and that's really what we wanted to bring and the, the world he's really understood the assignment and took it to a whole new stratosphere for real Absolutely, it's so dope. It definitely comes. It definitely comes across. Okay, so you 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 touched on something that was one of the things I wanted to ask about. So I want to talk talk about a couple of different specific songs on the project. Um, Earl and Todd. <laughs> We're special. just gonna start with that. We gonna start. <laughs> um, you can start with that one, bro. <laughs> what, I, what you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Go ahead. I, I know. I know what. I, I know what I. I know what I think. Like listening to it. Um, I know the way that it hit me and I know what I think, but, um, I mean, I guess I'll just start with that. Right. So we are, you know, we're in a, we're in a really special year, a special year to me as somebody who loves this art form, who's been a fan of this art form, you know, for as long as I've lived and I've seen, you know, I've seen so much, I've seen it grow. I've seen a lot of disconnect that has happened. And this year in particular, it's been really beautiful to see, a lot of the coming together. I mean, to see a lot of um, celebration of 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 those who laid the foundation. To see, um, you know, a lot of people who maybe had had um, they w- had beef who 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 are now back together. You know, I, I think specifically of Raheem getting back with Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. You know, you hear the all of these stories where all this is coming, but then the big thing is is that people are people are recognizing the value and the benefit of give, giving people their flowers while they're here to enjoy them. So when I listen to that song, that's what I take from it. Oof. Y'all created it. Like, what was the, you know, what was the genesis of that? That's partly true. Um, me and bro, like he was saying earlier about obsessing over music and sounds, that also goes to paying homage to the, the forefathers and the people that kind of taught us this. And we, we just took a lot of time to, to say, you know what, if we were given an opportunity in this space to speak to these artists, what kind of questions will we ask? Um, what kind of music will we make? What kind of music will we want to help them make if we were in a, in a space with them, with the legends? Mm-hmm. So it started off kind of like a, a reference track. And then, you know, so I, you know, we won't go too far into what happened with <laughs> delivering said track, but um, E40, you know, he, his spirit he hit me in a major way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we just finished the record. That's what's up, bro. And it, it just felt right. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, it's, I think again, man, it's just, it's a beautiful ode to, um, ode to, ode to other artists from the Bay who oftentimes if people think of the Bay, that's where their minds go. But I think it also, it's just a, to me, it's another example of the gifts that you guys have for, expressing your talent in many different ways. And, um, you know, I want, and, and that, that really comes across on this project. It's almost like a, 
you, I don't know if y'all knew that we could do this, but yo, listen to the next track because we can also do this. Like throughout the entire project, there's just a little bit of, it's almost like a resume of, you know, this is who we are and this is what we can do. I, I had a vengeance. I don't know about bro, <laughs> but it's, it's always a lot of talk, especially in the Bay Area about who could do what and who's on who's on top of the music game is and who's the best at this, that, and the third. Yeah. I, I don't think, I don't think those kind of things are debatable when you talk about the resume of what we can do. Like, I've never heard it, you know what I mean? If somebody else is, you know, can prove me wrong on that, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I've personally never heard that before. I feel that, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, let me, let me, let me get to, let me get to a generic interview question, all right? The uh, Every Blue Moon. <laughs> What's up with the title? Oh, yeah, you definitely got to <laughs> take that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... We got these notes that we just take throughout our day, observing the world. In this particular time, there was a a, a, a person who might have been a little, you know, on hard times. Mm-hmm. He just blurted it out. I don't know who he was talking to. I don't know what what it had to do. But he's just every blue moon. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, OG. You you ever see you ever see uh, you seen uh, they call him Tyrone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the OG that's in front of the store, but he's the he's where they go and solve the whole thing from they go get the answers from him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And bro, put he just said it, but he didn't tell me where he got it from until after it was released. I'm like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it just make all the sense of the world. But he's but the, he got the title shit two months before the actual blue moon occurred. You know what I'm saying? Like it was be like it was it was. You couldn't have you couldn't have writ, written this uh, rollout any better. Like it was it was months before, yeah. And then the blue moon came, and then Deuce got in the group chat and was like, "Yo, y'all got to drop. Y'all have to drop." It wasn't even a. It was all the questions we had been having internally. They all went away, and everybody immediately was like, "You're right. You're right. You're right." And the next thing you know, we was dropping the album. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. Um, one of the joints that that I've been playing has been on rotation in, in my sets. Um, all that to say. Interesting. I I don't remember I don't remember what 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 Du said to me, but he talked about the the sound that you folks were were curating or creating that was attached to the album. And I, and when he said it, I was like, oh, that's what I hear mm-hmm. in that in that song. You spoke a little bit on it in, in terms of you know the style, the bass style, the West Coast style, neo mob. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Um, that definitely comes across, but. In, you know, in your words, like, how would you describe that, that neo-mob sound? Uh, all that to say is, like, the perfect poster child for for that. And, and you're going to hear, you're going to hear, because we, man, I, you can, I can't tell you, Cliff, how many things we've we've coined and come up with, and then we wake up the next day and whomever's taking it on one. So we're telling you here first and right now, when everybody see this, you hear Neo Mob anywhere outside of Grand National, bro. They, they trust me, they got it from us. Wasn't nobody on that before us. I'm tripping on shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not because we, because no because to your point, Cliff, we we really have been in the lab trying to find our place as an as in music, right? Yeah. We we're not quite hyphy enough for to to be associated with the Bay, but whenever they want to display diversity, we're always the people they point to in terms mm-hmm. of just like having something else to offer. Um, mm-hmm. But a lot like Outkast and Organized Noise and Dungeon Family, like don't get it fucked up, bro. We from here too. Yeah. So that despair and that, 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 you know, that, that resourcefulness and that overcoming is what you hear in the music. So it's the, it's the player era, it's the, the big body, uh, box chefs and the, and the caprices and the, and the Cadillacs and the, the the trunk gotta be knocking. Yeah, yeah. And if you listen to the Tonys, Rafael Sadiq specific, like if you listen to that music, even if even though it is soulful, it's knocking every time. Guapale, mm-hmm. um, like the you can you can do both, and that's what we've been working on, like handcrafting the the neo mob sound, you know, and all that to say. Shout out to Rossi. Uh, shout out to Kodak, that that whole squad, like they put that play together. When we're talking about producers, I didn't even mean to forget them, but we went and did that out uh, at Kodak's spot with the with the homies with Rossi um, and Joe. Like they just some special, again, some really talented 
creatives that do everything. Rossi sings and produces and engineers and as does Joe and, and Kodak is just a visionary and putting people together. But so we just, you know, trying to lean on our, our tribe right now and really take yeah. shit to the moon for real. Yeah, yeah. I love that, man. And that's one of the things that you guys have done since I've really gotten to know and build with y'all is is we get an opportunity to see who who all is in the camp and 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 all of the talent that is within the camp to build um to build into and with one another, which I think is really dope. Um another joint <laughs> another joint that that I really dig is the seven days joint, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you picking a bunch of songs that I, I wasn't sure if you would say or not. Word? Yeah. Bruh. Yeah. The first time I heard the seven days joint, you know, I was like, oh, okay, like you right in my bag. Like that's wow. That's the era I'm from, you know what I mean? Uh, you was that freak nigga. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bruh, you know I'm from down south, bruh. Come on, man. Come on. So talk to me about talk talk to me about that track, man. And 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 the and making the choice to make a track like that and then making a choice to put that track on this project? Oh, man. I, I just, again, we just, in the lab, hey, we making this kind of song today. This the vibe we on, like, let's go. And if we gonna go, let's go all the way. Like, let's not half-ass it. Let's not play with it. Let's not make it seem like we not trying to do what we trying to do. Like, you know, I wasn't old enough at that time to be outside, for real, for real. Yeah. But I was right. So this is my ode to that, you know what I mean? And the That's same with the homies, they just like, no, absolutely. Like, without hesitation, let's make something faster, up-tempo. And it's just a part of what we do. We just make music. We don't, you know, there's no cap. There's no ceiling to this. I love that, bro. I love it because once again, it it, do, it just does come across as, this is maybe this is not what you were expecting to hear on this project, but you're going to get a little bit of everything. And, I, and, and again, I, I feel like that's what y'all... That's what y'all did. Y'all did a y'all did a, a, a album release there, right? Yes, yep. And um, I know I, I'm sure I saw some of the some of the some of the footage, some of the photos, maybe even some visuals from it. Uh, what was it? What was it like? Like every time you every time I've seen you guys put something together, it's always special. But for those of us who couldn't be in the building, like what was it like? Magical, magic. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's that's the that's the only way I would put it is magical. Yeah, um, from you. I think what happens to a lot of artists trying to trying to trying to get on in this climate is you cast this very general net. You only upload to Apple Music and Spotify and Tidal, and you kind of just cross your fingers that you go viral one day, yeah. and you forget to send your record to to DJ Cliff to OG One. You like you forget to send it to Shell Hart. You forget to send the DJ pack to to DJ Slowpoke, like, and it's like, nah, bro. Like these, we've done, we've had more impactful activations like that. Just having invite on, like that that listening party was invite only, so it was a lot of people sick that they didn't see it. But those days are kind of just like having people in a room just so they could say they was there. Like that shit is there, bro. Talk talk directly to the people who are supporting you and want to see you win. And we've been really really fortunate since coming to market as Grand National to have like the bay behind us. So people hating and, and feeling slept on, like that ain't been our story, bro. Like our, our people been showing up for it. So we just wanted to share that moment with these people and salute to D and Kev for just being sickos more than anything. Cause <laughs> that even I, like there, there was a moment where uh, Deuce was yelling doors to let everybody in and Kev goes, money to the stage and I just I didn't know what to do so I just sat, I just sat down to 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 appreciate what was happening cuz it was it was it was live cliff like to be honest with you like it was a real special moment for me as an artist um to you, to the point that you've been making to just show the the entire bag if you will you yeah. know you get it's easy to get typecast and it's people don't mean nothing by it it's just what they do like they immediately oh you sound like such and such and something brother Stop playing with me for real. Like I do, I man, I was watching a Kirk Franklin documentary yesterday, trying to get you know, trying to take notes because oh, it's you, <laughs> you okay, know, that's, so, that's it's just it's just it was just more than anything. We really wanted to to put people in a space to understand what was happening sonically, mm -hmm. so that once it got to the world, they could be our they could be the agents for us. They could speak for us on our behalf. 
to go, nah, they really took you on one genre to genre, subgenre to genre, feeling to feeling, soul to soul, boom bap, lo fi, highbrow, sophisticated funk, jazz. It's everything is there, but it's it's with intention, it's paying attention to detail. The through line is so beautifully done. Shout out to the Wolves for the post production for to making it feel like a cohesive offering, you know, and the, and the, the listening party had to feel exactly the same. That's what's up, man. Mm. Chopping it up, chopping it up with Monty's rapper and and uh and Kev Al. Uh, the um the as I as I said before, man, the the things that the things that I see you guys do where it's things are in the camp and the camp is building into one another and supporting one another, which I think is really dope. On this project, Grand National is on the project. Which is not which is not at all surprising, right? Because Again, every, it's it's all within the camp. Um, the 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 idea of making sure that Grand National is represented. Um, can you speak to the importance and or the value of that? It's it's the only thing that's valuable. Mm. Um, there there's nothing more valuable than than the brotherhood that we've built, and sisterhood, and community, mm-hmm. and not in the generic sense like outside of music mm-hmm. can we show up for each other if somebody needs something i don't care if it's a flat tire i don't care if it's somebody passing your family mm-hmm. we rely on each other for those things and it's it's just so far beyond music that it stretches to other people so then our crew becomes bigger shout out uh Kariga, soul development um just just all the antennas that we have that that show up with love and attention for taking care of the, the the youngins in our crew, the cousins, the little brothers and sisters, like we really mean that. So when we show up to the studio, that's light work. That's easy, you know what I mean? Like outside, like the world beating us up. So we're trying to make sure we get that back. And um, that's really the most important thing. It's like, so when Grand National was on the track with us or something like that, like that was gonna happen anyway. That, so it's, I, 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 the, the the reason it was so challenging for me to ask that question is because I'm I just feel very blessed and honored to 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 be sort of on the outer circle. So there's certain stuff that I know that I think is really valuable that I want to give you folk an opportunity to because I know that to be true. You know what I'm saying? I know that with you guys that it is bigger than music. It is about it is about that connection. Is it is about caring for one another in a really tangible way. And I think that that's so beautiful. And I think that not just in the music industry, but in our in our communities it's not it's not seen enough so when i see individuals like yourself making that um making that a priority where others get an opportunity to see it i want to celebrate it you know what i'm saying i think that that should be that that should be uh, uplifted to the to the you know to the forefront so big ups to y'all for for just continuing to to do that Thank you, bro you um you only on the outer circle cuz you live there but what we're trying to do is make sure we build a chapter there right and you got a you got a damn near you know, you ain't got to prick your finger nothing like that. You already in the mob. It's good. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Okay. So I want to talk about, I want to talk about a couple of other things while I have you here. Um, that is, that's, that's not, not maybe not connected, c- directly connected to this particular project, if I can. Um, can you, can you take just a minute and talk about everything has a place? Man, uh, <laughs> That is a collection of, of photography work that um, I spent maybe 10 years. Some work is super old. And then some work was the week before the book was delivered. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And just uh, travel photos, mm-hmm. some personal family things in there, but not shot in a traditional way. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of street photography, a lot of being outside, culture, um, black folks, um, entertainment. You'll see some like shows and, you know, short and snoop and all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, it's, it's a story that that tells a journey through black culture and entertainment from the perspective of, of a young Richmond fellow, you know, <laughs> <laughs> young Bay Area fellow. <laughs> And yeah, just you know, just just my photography work, my camera work. It's it's dope to see 
the other parts of 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 um, the gifts of creatives. You know, oftentimes these things are that we do, we keep them separate. And as I continue to spend time on the planet, I see the value and the importance of 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 letting people see all of those talents, letting them see all of us. And especially in a format like that, like photography, where people not only get to see your gifts, but they get to see what you're capturing and sharing that, which I think is a, is is another beautiful thing. That's something that people can 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 actually have. It's a tangible piece of piece right. of art that people can get, right? Right. Um, we did we did fifty copies, and I'm gonna release another fifty copies to everybody that's watching this and want to tap in. Just give me a couple of days, I'll tap in with you. But um. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, but I have bro feature in the book as if you would do a, a featured artist on your album. So he wrote like the intro to the book Dope. and I kept it like um, a track list. So you can go through the, the photos and they represent certain songs and certain eras and important things. So I spent a lot of time trying to divide the photography and the music because of just just different people and, and trying to figure out what's the right thing to do. and kind of to your point, like, just be the full self. And then that shit will, that shit will pan out for you. No doubt. No doubt. So um, if people want to get a copy, like, how do they do that? Um, KevinAllen.com, K-V-N-A-L-L-N.com. They are, they are not available right now because, um, you know, God bless that we sold out them things. But they'll be back on the shelves in another month. That's what's up. That's what's up. We definitely want to sell them out again. I appreciate it. For sure, bro. For sure. Um, and then Monty. Bro. Thank you, man. Thank you for coming up and being a part of Mike Check. Bro. Oh, that was that was an easy call, bro. You know how much that meant, man. Bro, come on. You know how much that meant to me? You know what I mean? Um, it was it was like I'm still riding, riding, riding off a high the whole night, bro. Um, but to have you and Deuce come through. And bless the stage, and 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 for you to 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 share your gifts. I mean, you know the you know the goal. Like I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing it in pieces. I got I got Brookfield first. <laughs> now I got you, Kev. You next. <laughs> got to get passwords. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We got to get the whole crew up here. Um, Come on, that man. Was, uh, that was that was really really special, man. Um, you are an individual who, you know, as I'm thinking about what you've done just in 2023 bro you stay busy bro man you know releasing music and then especially all of the the work that you're doing um there that I'm, that I'm that I'm seeing in the community in terms of creating platforms for others um you know like finding space to be able to 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 do all of that and then maintaining self what's a tip that you can give to us who you know you know what I mean how do you how do you how do you balance it? How do you s- split up your time and then do everything that you do at such a high level consistently? Whew. I don't. I don't know if I have. I, if I feel confident enough to share any like tips or whatever. Pause. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a family show. Uh, it's a family show. Uh, <laughs> uh, but but in all in all actuality though, um, even even myself, bro, I'm. I'm I'm having a reimagining or a rewiring internally about feeling like you do have to do so much. You know what I'm saying? Like a part of it in the beginning, I think was out of scarcity and and a lack of self worth and value, just being hella places at once and just almost spreading yourself too thin. Yeah. Um, luckily for bro, especially bro, like Kevin Deuce specifically, I think I, I think our our only beefs internally have been like, hey man, you're doing too much. You know, like, <laughs> like let it let it let us know what you need and um some you know some things I'm working on. But uh, but ultimately I'm from the rich, man. And mm. I like Ma- Master P got his game from here. So if they not gonna let me in this door, I'm about to try this one. I'm about to try this one. I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? And so we gonna have cell phones, we gonna have merch, we gonna have music, we gonna have movies, we gonna have a restaurant. Like we gonna do it all, bro. Domino everything. Um, that's what's up. And I'm just now, I'm just now understanding that that's a part of not only my own identity, but my my ancestral, like like lineage, bro. Like my grandmother's salute to Doris Jean, bro. Like she's done an amazing job of like tracing where we come from specifically and 
this the the type of hustle that is just innate for me goes back way before I was even thought of. You know, mm-hmm. so I'm just fulfilling um, these ancestral foot of uh, uh, shoes, if you will, and just being you know being a light in a in a in a pillar for for my greater community. Like I believe. I believe in Kev and I'm in Deuce and D so much and 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 Janelle and Pass and and Tim. I believe in I believe in what they offer so much and what they stand for um, as far as humanity is concerned. And art and the industry as a whole has been stripped of its humanity to where people just doing anything. And I that's not that's not the the hip hop that I grew in. Where? That's not the R and P that I grew up in. Um, that's not the the overall offerings in both film and fashion that I grew up in, like when FUBU came on the scene, they were they were priced the way that it was because it was there was a quality to it, you know. Right. Right. And, and when you when you see when you seen Rockefeller pull up, there was a quality. There was Bad Boy had a quality to it, and I'm excited about you know leading the charge at at, at you know a resurgence of just just putting quality product in a space where you know the person that curated and worked on it really gave a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't a, it wasn't a money grab, but you know what, you know how many other things we could be out here doing if it, if we was about the money and music can't be about the money, bro. Like this ain't, this ain't a money grab. It can't right. be, right. It, the, the, the math don't math. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, I'm, I'm excited to be leading the charge, especially from our region to be associated with the people that really, really give a fuck about the product that we're making and excited about how that shit is going to resonate around the world, bro. Can't nothing stop us because because of how much we love it. You know? Stop stepping on the dough. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a simple formula, bro. It's a simple, like, just don't step on the dope. And in terms of just quality and output, like, salute my my pops. My pop, I remember just doing chores one day and I, I vacuumed without moving, moving one of the pieces that was movable. Mm-hmm. And he was like, bro, like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, right. you didn't vacuum. You like, right. you half ass vacuum. You know that it's a, it's a principle I carry to his name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you that? You that oh, oh, God, oh, bro. No. He ain't lying. Get, get. Now, if you are gonna do it, just do, just do it right, bro. Or, or otherwise, take your ass home. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you don't want to be in the lab, bro, don't come to the lab falling asleep. Don't be racking focus and and on TikTok playing other shit. But we are, if you're in the lab with us, we are here. I don't care if it's Deuce album, Kev album, what, I don't care who album it is or what who song. Like you, I need your full focus Shut your on this. Goddamn ass up if I'm in the lab. <laughs> don't be in there talking about somebody else's music. <laughs> Shut your ass up. We making a clap in there. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. So, Booger Sugar. Ooh. The song or <laughs> or the party baby? <laughs> no, <laughs> I am referring to the album. I'm right, cool, cool. Really I know referring. we was doing the thing we were talking about outside the album. On, on stream is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Oh, I'm referring to every blue moon. So, you know, I hear I hear uh, Booker Sugar and, um, you know, Never asked. the, the, because I know, because I know the 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 the, the talent, the skill set that y'all have, and I that's one I haven't I haven't I haven't run it back enough times yet to see, is it what it is or or is there more? You know what I'm saying? Um, say more. Like, is is the song what it is? Like, is it is it more to the song? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's one I need to sit with. Yeah. Okay. It's um, man, like we're we're in Richmond right now, mm-hmm. so the second half of that song is a complete contrast because of kind of what Bro was saying earlier about how how dedicated we are, yeah. but the story to a song like that is that we're able to be intuitive black men when it comes to music for women, mm-hmm. also there's a stark contrast to it's cold out here. Like, you know what I mean? Richmond got a cloud over it. Like for a lot of, you know what I mean? Like as a metaphor and, and literally. Yeah. So it's, it's really to show the duality. Like I'm from North Richmond, from South Richmond. It's just, everything is, is duality. So when you really crack the layers open of the song, the, the, how much funk and Prince inspired and the first half is, and then how 
Southern it is and Master P and Richmond, just all of these things are are super intentional on how we kind of make music. But yeah, yeah, that's one yeah. of the ones. That's what's up, bro. I was um, I was I was with I was with Versatile um, earlier today. Versatile, the Lifesavers, and shared the album with him. Shared a couple of cuts in the album with him. Wow. And it was uh, that's legendary, Cliff. Thank you, bro. Come on, bro. Come, bro, you know that's what I do. <laughs> that's big. That's big. Shout out to Verse, man. Um, we were talking about uh, just really talking about the movement, talking about the Grand National Movement, and um, the reason I asked the question the way that I asked it, Kev, is because that conversation came up in a in in a in a conversation about lyricism. Um, in a conversation, you know, we talk Verse and I talk Dela all the time. Mm-hmm. Talking about pasta news, talking about the way, the way MCs MCs, you know, the way that they that they use their pen, and um, and 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 now these are my words. How MCs are not lazy with the like real MCs are not lazy with the pen, mm-hmm. you know. And we live in a time now. Again, these are my words. We live in a time now where it's really really easy to to put a song together and 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 present it to the masses. But really, what are we putting out there? Um, and I guess I say all of that to once again just just prop y'all up, man, for what you do, the way that you do it, and um, you know, hopefully encourage. Not that you need it, but continue to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because again, I love this art form, and I feel like what you folk are doing, you're 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 keeping it where it needs to be in a time where I don't know that that's always the focus. So. Cliff, can I, can I, um, we do need it. We mm. do. Um, bro and I were just talking about that earlier, trying to figure out what is it about us specifically that gives off that, you know, because the, with the rollout for Every Blue Moon, for example, I had people hit me like, yo, who did y'all hire for PR? Who you signed to? Like, like, nah, bro, make no mistake. This is all independent and we don't scream independence. Like we not looking for partnership. Like we not like, I'm trying to name that right now and claim that like, bro, we like if the right situation presented itself, not only to just put like line our pockets, but we're seriously, we're serious about the national in our name, bro. We need, we already got a Portland chapter, but we need to be in Virginia with TZ. We need to be in Atlanta with, with PK. And then we need to be in Houston with, with OP and the squad and Max show. Like we need to be, in Amsterdam, shout out to Ryan. We need to be in Senegal. We need to be in Toronto and Montreal. Like we need to be in Mexico City. Like it's, is the national is intentional. You know what I'm saying? So, we do need it, bro. We need the we need Cliff Notes. We need these platforms. We need we need the we need the the radio show, to really showcase. Like, cause it's, it's only gonna take one person. It's only gonna take one listen. You get you played it for verse today. Ain't no telling where it's gonna go. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, but that is not lost on us. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Of course, bro. Of course. Um, so the uh I right, here's another here's here's another typical interview question. Um again, like I said, this this project is really for those who maybe haven't been up on what you folks have been doing over the last four or five years, right? This is really an example of okay, this is what we can do. So what does this lead to in terms of the next um, <laughs> He's scared. Let me take it. Look, <laughs> I just want I just wanna say <laughs> I just wanna say it's nothing that we can't we can't do. It's as far as what's next, like we gonna we gonna continue out rapping these niggas. <laughs> That's first and foremost. Word. Word. Just making the best music we can make, but we doing we doing any genre and whatever genre, but from a black from a black perspective, and we're making it soulful. So it music. might not be no rap on my next project at all. Like, like we don't even need to, you know. We can we can really make this. We trying to win some awards. I feel you. You know what I mean. We trying to change the culture, the landscape for the better and not because we're the only ones with the key, but we know a lot of people in our network that believe the same thing. So we're really trying to build that together. Mm-hmm. Like that, like we talk about Motown as if it was 300 years ago. Mm-hmm. Like that's recent history, like hip hop is recent. It's, it's only 50 years old, not 50 years old. It's only right. 50 years old. 
right. it's the youngest genre. Yeah. So yeah. let's keep expanding it and using it. Like hip hop got me taking pictures. You know what I mean? Hip hop got me um, directing videos and hip hop got me writing articles and just different things. Like this, this is a, this is a platform, like for real, like a legit platform. So what's next for us, bro, is, is we trying to run shit up. We trying to run shit up. I love that. I love that. Okay. Here's a, here's a, here's more of a, um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to say industry question, but just a real curiosity. So <laughs> every blue moon literally just dropped, right? And we are in a time where, um, there's a, there may be a sense of like, I got to keep dropping. I got to keep dropping. I got to, you know, maintain people's attention. I got to make sure that I'm, you know, staying in front of folk with new content, <laughs> which is a different, um, maybe a different, from yo, let me. I made this great piece of art and I put it out there. Y'all need to sit with it for a minute. Like you need to take time to um, to enjoy this art. You need to take time to when it comes to to, to the audible art. You need to t- take time to drive around with it. You need to take time to to put it in your headphones. You need to take time to you know sit around with family or friends and really and really sit with it. Um, is that do do you folk do you folk look at it one one direction or the other or is it is it is it project specific is it or does that resonate with you at all? It's both. It's both. It's all of it's all of that. Um, again, to our fellow artists and our peers, don't 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 let this algorithm shit step on the dope for lack of better terms. Like you got some special like uh, the the Timbaland and CeeLo song on TikTok is popping again. That, that, uh, I'll be around that, bro. That song is so old, <laughs> but it was, a, but it was, a, it, I remember when it dropped thinking like, yo, this is a jam yeah. and it, and it didn't really feel like it got its due at the time. Yeah. So to show, um, the timelessness of it again is a no, is an, is a nod to CeeLo to Tim. I imagine, <laughs> um, uh, who was, uh, was it, uh, who was, Producing with Tim at the time. Um, um, what's bro's name? Danger, not danger. Uh, yeah. Danger, yeah. Like I imagine, like those people that are around were putting that much heart into the music, so that in 2023 it would, it would pop again, you know. And so, if if we die tomorrow, we standing on this. Yeah. It ain't no. Oh, we put out some weak ass shit, and then the last song you type in, you pull up. It's some garbage. <laughs> nah, I can't. I'm not. I'm personally. That's not the goal anymore. Yeah. There was a time, you know, where you get caught up in that. Like, I think the analogy is you get on the freeway, you got to go with the speed of traffic or you'll cause an accident. Right. So I believe that. You got to, you know, everybody going 80, you got to go 80. At the same time, we know how to take the streets, the back streets, the back roads. Ooh, we know how to get so on far. the plane. We can get on the train. We can ride a bike. There's different ways to get to where we're going. That is a bar. And where we're going isn't necessarily the same place that everyone else is going. Right. So to get lumped in that sometimes is, is accurate because it's music. You got to play the game. Mm-hmm. And we don't mind playing the game on some level. But also, if we get a, a, a sync deal from mm-hmm. a song, we necessarily don't have to be in everybody's face like hey man listen to this hey man listen to this also that's marketing yeah it's being annoying as fuck like people don't get mad at mcdonald's when they see the ad every day Facts. you see it a hundred times a day you'll be happy yeah yeah they actually go to the store go buy a weak ass burger <laughs> that you could have made at you home. made at home but since they market it right and they use the right colors you go down there and spend your money kill yourself do all of the shit yeah and we say hey listen to this album you're like, ah, I'm tired of us. That was last week. Yeah, yeah. That's a bigger conversation, but I think that's a black culture conversation that goes to we're just quick to discard the shit that's in front of us. And um, and not, you know, living a, C, living a C25 was a big deal at one point. Right. right. It's like, that's insane. So I think in our music, we try to make sure it lasts longer. You know, I so I have this thought that it takes a certain level of, confidence and knowledge of self to a certain degree to get to that place. It just takes being on the planet mm-hmm. for a minute before you can get to that place, right? <laughs> then confidence in who you are, confidence of, of what you have, what you can do, just having that life experience. Right. And I know I've said this to y'all before, but that's one of the things that I appreciate about the music that I hear you, you folk make is that like it's hip hop, 
but like this is grown folk music. Yes. You know what I mean? Like this is this is adult music, which I can so appreciate. And it does feel like music that we will be listening to 10, 15, 20, 25 years from now because it's um it it's you can't you can't dis you can't disregard it, right? You can't just say, ah, oh, this is just some throwaway stuff. Um I mean, is that that's my assessment, right? Because of the experiences that you folk have had, because of the what you've seen and what you've you know what you've done and and where you've traveled, that it has that it has had that impact on on the creative process. Is that is that accurate at all, or am I just talking? No, you 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 right on the money. My niece will be three in a couple of weeks. I, my mom my mom pulled up on me and I hopped in the car with them and my niece was singing. Um, a two short song, but it's she shouldn't know it, you know. Like there's no way she should know that song if 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 what they're saying is true. You got to be relevant. You got to be relevant. You got to be relevant. Like stop playing with Todd, bro. Short been around for since the beginning, damn near, and still getting to it. Like we just went and saw them at Mount Westmore, bro. And he he he's up there with Snoop, Cube, and Forty, and he might have the craziest catalog out of all of them. Right. Right yeah. from Oakland, though. You know what I'm saying? So I think. To your point, is like that's that's what Earl and Todd was meant for. Like if we if in any event we get to sit with Short, we get to sit with Forty, we get to sit with Snoop, we get to sit with Q. You don't you don't gotta play the young man's game at all, bro. Y'all the OGs. Y'all the reason we can even earn because in rap, in in film, in fashion, and in, in liquor, and in, and in, in all like y'all the y'all the reason anybody can get any money. Y'all got the liberty to make whatever you want. If you could make whatever you want. What would it sound like? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we get Ant Banks back in the lab, please. It's the next short album got to have Ant on. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of just attention to detail, but also agency. We want to offer our you know, our elders, bro, that built this shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I know, I know, I know, I know. You got to give back to the youth. I do know that it's a young person's game, but both things are true. Like, creating safe spaces and pathways and access to our youth is so important. But continuing to cultivate and 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 uplift and celebrate our our OGs that built this motherfucker is is equally as important, if not more. Because if they go away, bro, what you think they gonna do to you, young boy? You don't got you don't got no game. You don't got nobody to protect you in the building. I never seen this before, Cliff. I never seen this. But we do away with the elders. It's never happened in tribes and in in, in especially African culture, black people like we. I never seen this. You could walk down the street and everybody on the street would check you, make sure you were safe, make sure you weren't doing no foul shit. It was it was cool. Now it feels like we in a fuck the OG era. Yeah. Where it's like, well damn, well, who gonna help you navigate? Who gon' who gonna be the lookout? Who gonna be the you know what I mean, we talk about wolves and shit like that, but there's a wolf in the front and a wolf back to protect. So you protect it on all sides. Now everybody's such a soldier, they moving forward without the rest of the army. It just feel phony. It don't it don't feel right. So I think we're just trying to restore that feeling. Like and just be ready to die on that hill. We know that's not the most popular shit. We understand that it's not popular to to say things that have a deeper meaning than you know what I mean? Even if it's even if it's some still player shit, but be clever with it. You know what yeah. I mean? Let's not push nothing but negativity. Like just mix it up. Like we do negative shit, we do positive shit. It's a balance to both. But let's not pretend that we all negative a hundred percent of the time. That's not even realistic. So when the music reflects that, it just feels phony to us. And I just think we ready to die on that hill. Like, let's just keep making shit. Fun shit, in depth shit, party shit, rap shit. Let's make it all. I dig it, man. I dig it. I love that. And I you know, I will say this too. It's been interesting. It, it, I love seeing this change, man, um, that you folks are talking about, maybe in small circles, but at least we're starting to see it more and more. You know, we used to often speak in circles that I've been in about the fact that why do we do this? Why do we do this in our in our art form, right? We don't see it in other art forms. You know what I'm saying? Um, in jazz, OGs are respected. In rock music, OGs are, are respected and celebrated. You know what I mean? So um, once again, man, I just want to give y'all your props for for recognizing that. And again, I've, like you said, it's the youngest genre, but at least now it's middle aged, right? So we're right. hopefully older and wiser and we can see maybe some of the errors, errors of our ways. And um, that's how we, that's how we continue to push this thing forward. Um, 
in uh, one, the the project right now is available on all streaming platforms. Forgive me. The one thing that I didn't look for is if you folk are doing any physicals from the project. Might have a special drop on the way, but Cliff, yours you you'll get yours before everybody though. I promise you that. But we got we got something very special um, being announced in the coming days. I, I'd imagine. So I'm excited okay, excited too about we talk about cultivating and, and and being intentional. This offering is really intentional. We work with some special people to to do it too. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, man. That's what's up, bro. Um, shows. I know that you guys are um are staying busy. Staying busy, but also it 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 feels very purposeful and selective uh, in terms of the the stages that you that you bless. But um, any shows that that people should be on the lookout for from uh, any of the Grand National Collective. Damn, no, no I think, <laughs> yeah, I think we need to um, announce some shows, especially just for the project, just yeah. to have it physically um, in front of people, perform in front of people. So, yeah, just on the lookout very soon. Word, word. And is everything going to go, is everything just going to run through grandnational.com? Yes, sir. Okay. XL, N-A-T-I-O-N, XL. Yes, sir. If people are, if people want to want to link with y'all directly and, and, and see what you guys are, are working on individually, uh, Monty, how should people do that for you? Uh, every, at Monty Draper, all platforms. Um, excited, uh, Cliff, I got to tap in with you, bringing the podcast back finally. Um, with some with some new framework, uh, I, I'm, I'm so excited I can't even like contain myself. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll be back live via um, uh, my Monty Draper YouTube channel. Okay, um, this is gonna be this is gonna be an awesome run and just rip to the point, bro. And I've been talking about just in the sessions, just like yo, just showing how we celebrate culture and and cuisine and fashion and art like all these things you know from our unique perspective and hopefully that it, it sparked the change in the world is what is what the, the show is going to offer this time around which it already did but yeah. just more focused to your point a little bit older a little bit wiser a little bit more aware um and able to cure, create even more intentional this time around too so be on the lookout for y'all subscribe to the money Dra money draper youtube channel that's what's up man. i'm definitely excited for that <laughs> Uh, and then Kev, if people want to tap in with you, bro, what's the what's the best way to do that? For the same Instagram is um, Kevin Allen, no vowels except for the A. Um, somebody else already had that name. Could you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> um, Kevin Allen Music, spelled out on Twitter. <clears throat> KevinAllen.com um, for photography work, and I'll be blending the music as well. We got a, a site, kind of again trying to figure out how to curate both both spaces but um yeah just or just google some old Earth the jerk shit and we'll figure it out <laughs> it'll it'll lead you to me you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> no doubt no doubt the project's out right now man every blue moon uh kevin allen monty draper it's it's dope um i am sharing it as on all the platforms that i have available to me um because i think it's i think it's a beautiful work of art and and i um, very grateful that you guys um, we're willing to share it with with us, man. So thank you, bro. Um, yeah, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Um, I'm honored. I'm honored to do it. Um, I'm honored to be in your circle of influence, man. So thank you for thank you for what y'all do artistically. Thank you for 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 what you guys do just as men um, walking on this planet. Um, I definitely appreciate y'all to the highest for real. Thank you, brother. Same to you, brother. Thank you, Cliff. Come on, yes, sir. Monty Draper, Kevin Allen, Every Blue Moon. Go stream it and be on the lookout for something that you might be able to get that is very, very tangible. Um, until next time, fellas, um, you know, when I get an opportunity to spend some moments with you guys, y'all be blessed. It's very nice. All right, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. It's the Clip Notes podcast available everywhere you get your podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, um, of course, at cliffnotes.com. Um, be sure to tap in and uh, tell a friend, share it with your family and friends, the whole nine, man. Uh, shout out once again to Acapella Apparel for their continued support of the Cliff Notes podcast. Check them out at acapella.com. That's A-K-E-P-E-L-E.com. Um, also, uh, big ups to, to some of the networks where you can get to, you can hear the Cliff Notes podcast uh, on the X-Ray FM uh, mobile app, um, on the X-Ray FM podcast network, on the the numbers podcast network um 
But like I said, man, cliffnotes.com. Um, yeah, man, thank y'all so much for rock with me. Uh, continue to support, continue to spread the word. Until we have an opportunity to do this again, y'all be blessed. Peace. Thank you.